My name is Merle Wallace. I'm a retired chief dental technician from the Navy. I have been a hospital corpsman also. And uh, in 1963, I decided to go into the Navy. However, if the uh, Marine Corps recruiter had not been such a whip, I probably would have been a Marine. Navy family, primarily. Didn't have a good home life, and uh, I had made my mind up several years earlier that as soon as I was out of school, I would go into the Navy, and uh, mainly to get out of town. And I'm Southern California boy, so believe it or not, I used to be quite slender and blonde haired once upon a time, so, with a surfboard. So. I went to a destroyer for a short period of time, and uh, after that, uh, there was a draft going out for, and this was before the Vietnam War was really hot and heavy. And, went to hospital school right off that ship. I hadn't been on there long enough to even record it on the paperwork, uh, really. Although I have a couple of interesting memories from that. But uh, Well, that was uh, USS John R. Craig, DD-885. And uh, the main memory that I remember was uh, uh, the guys from 1st Division used to take me over to McDenny's there in National City in San Diego. And we'd been in there drinking beer for two or three times before the bartender asked me for an ID card. <laughs> then he promptly threw me out, but uh, uh, I'd already made my mark there. And, uh, and that was the ship that there was an ends and on by uh, who later was an XPN1 and became a, a CNO later on, uh, Skip Porta, or Mike Porta. And uh, he was the assistant gunnery officer, and that's about the only thing I really remember that the first class bosun made by the name of Johnson, and who I worked for.